talk about a future album. Um, did you already produce all the tracks? Uh, yeah, more or less. Yeah, yeah, it's pretty much done. Um, there's still, I mean, things are never finished, you know. Yeah. Even all my every single track I've released ever, I'm not happy with. Yeah. You know, there's problems with them. If I, you know, it's a, it's only finished because it's been released, and then I can't do any more with it. Yeah. So you know, I just listen back and I'm like, oh shit, I wish I'd done this and that. So the album is. I've got all the tracks sort of done and you know the things need improved and messed around with but yeah more or less it's it's sort of done um, yeah and um, about the color of sounds it's a lot of uh, a wide range or uh, maybe on a, on a specific one it's a very wide range mm -hmm. it's between there's, between, there's a, between nervous to uh, calm down it's like it's like um, there's a lot of ambient tracks on there just like no beats just sort of deep sort of like, it's all I mean the, the one factor that ties it all together like you mentioned earlier is it's all melodic and it all has a certain feeling to it so there is a thread it's not completely random you know but it's um, it's more of a listening album than a dance album uh, there's a few club tracks on there but three or four maybe out of 15 or something um, a lot of it's down tempo sort of That like you know strings, orchestral strings, piano, glitchy, lots of glitchiness, lots of clicks and detail, um, and then some like broken beat sort of electronica tracks, um, and then a couple of couple of four four tracks. But it's made it's a listening album. I, it was it was basically I'd been doing so much sort of techno and house and stuff for a while, and I was like, okay, fuck it, I'm just gonna do whatever. I'm just gonna be like completely forget about any restrictions and just do what I want to do and that's what I did so it's sort of me just doing what I feel like and completely f ignoring all the rules and any sort of restraints well, often often the restraints are because the record labels you know they want a certain thing because they know what sells which is fair enough and I've sort of completely ignored that because I you know I don't know you know the record label I don't even know what record label it's going to be released on yet it's sort of just in that process at the moment of you know, getting that stuff sorted. Um, so I just, I just didn't, you know, I just let go of the restraints and just did what I wanted to do, which was, you know, quite a nice thing to do. It was enjoyable to work on. Uh, I don't know whether it's gone a bit too weird, you know, maybe no one will like it because it's pretty weird, but it, I, we'll see. Yeah. Uh, uh, but, but you didn't propose it to, to the record about still? No, no, I didn't. Uh, partly because I wanted to be, I wanted to sort of free myself of the okay. influence of record labels because they always want a certain thing. They, they think about record sales but I didn't want to make my album based on record sales I wanted to sort of make it on creative artistic means you know I wanted to do what felt right for me and make it a personal sort of expression basically and, and keep it as pure on that basis as possible so I just did it without any consideration for anything else and then and now I have to now I'm stuck with the problem of who can release it you know So we may expect it to march something like this. Um, I have no idea uh, what the. I'm not going to say anything because a lot of the time when I say it, I think when something's going to get released, it ends up like getting released like completely different time, and then everyone says you were, it was going to get released here. You know, like so. I imagine it'll be sometime early next year. I imagine it should be. The, I hope so. I don't want it to. I don't, I don't want it to drag on. You know, into late next year. It should be early next year, basically. Hopefully.